on. Oh, why did it disappear from my library? There it is. I just need to change the title. There. Star Ocean now. Alrighty, Wesker. Th thanks again for the, the raids that you invited me to. Appreciate it. Those Herba Mysticos will come in handy. You have a good night. Alright, so let's continue on on this. The last thing we did was the private action with Lena or Rena here. Managed to save her, so now she's a. Now we have a party member. <laughs> she needs to start cooking dinner soon. <laughs> in the party, so party formation's kind of not... doesn't make sense. <laughs> Friendship level. Oh, boy. Yeah, I found out about the portraits. Th this portrait is the original PlayStation one. This one is from the first remake, which I think was for the PlayStation Portable? I, I'm not sure. And then this one's the R remake that just came out. Ah, I see. That's where we see friendship level. Okay. It's taste, nimble fingers, love of animals, and blessing of mana. Claw just has design sense. <laughs> or at least that's the only one that's active. Into the inn. Now we have to head to the city of Cross. Turns out that stone wasn't even worth a full. That's unfortunate. Oh geez, this place is selling a lot more stuff now.
one's decently equipped for now. More of a fear, okay. check something. See if I can round, round these guys up. Oh, I only got four. Oh, only two. Okay, that's disappointing. I wanted to go back to Arlia and see if there was a private action there. Hey, Autofonjo, thanks for cricket tuning in. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? Sunday. Whatever, that's what the weekends are for, yeah. The weekends are for feeling tired. These guys sell a heck of a lot more now. <laughs>
Oh, you scared me, Mr. Kenny. How long have you been there? Uh, five years. I mean, <laughs> the tomato juice from all the tomatoes grew this summer. Nice. I, uh, I just came in. Oh. What are you up to? I was just reflecting back on the past a little. Oh? When I realized that I wasn't actually my mother's daughter. I'm doing pretty good. It was such a right. shock to me, the whole thing. I ran off to the sacred forest and just cried and cried. One day, this boy, a friend of mine, came up to me. He gave me a lollipop and said, Stop crying. You're wasting your tears. Instead, I want you to smile for me. He said that to you? That really cheered me up. So what happened to that kid? I don't know. <clears throat> Several years later, he wound up leaving the village after something happened. Oh. Oh. I never had the chance to return the favor. I'm sorry. You probably weren't interested in hearing this. Oh, no. Actually, I apologize for butting in while you were thinking about all of that. No, I really don't mind it at all. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good then. Friendship level has changed. By how much? Uh, we we gained a little bit of friendship. That's the whole point of doing these private actions. It's depending on like friendship values between your party members, that can that can unlock certain endings. And or change certain things about the about the game. I am pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. All right, now we'll hike over to Cross. Backstory, uh, you, you get to, you actually get to choose between these two characters as your starter. I started with a guy named Claude. He is the son of uh, of one of the player characters from the first Star Ocean. Bas basically, he's an ensign in that in his uh, in a, in, on some space fleet. They uh, go down to a planet that was generating some kind of electrical field that some unexplained electrical field. And then when they found it, uh, this guy walked, walked up to whatever was generating the electric field and got sucked into some kind of wormhole and ended up on an entirely different planet. Which so far he's rescued this, rescued Arena, the girl that's standing next to him from uh, some guy that's possessed. Oh, there we go, now we got five. And so far that's the story. That's the story in general. As for actual backstory, the uh, this game this game takes place 20 years after the events of the first Star Ocean game. So there's there's a little bit of continuity, but not not too much. Nice. Triple the XP if you have five enemies coming after you. <laughs> 216 XP. We don't need that much Whoa. at this point of the game, but we got it. Ooh, great. Yeah, that's a, that's a crazy feature this game has. Well, this remake, anyway. Oh, we've probably got some BP to spend. Yeah, give me some of that god speed. If I do all my grinding early, what will we do later? More grinding, that's what. Reina? Oh, she can, she can benefit from all this stuff. Let's 
go that and that. We've got 12, so maybe we can go boom, boom. Yeah, that sounds good. And I forgot that we can actually level up these two. So we'll have to focus on <laughs> next next time Reina has a lot of BP. Get some of these some of her spells leveled. We already did the PA for that, but we'll check anyway. Yeah, there's no there's no there's no highlight. <laughs> for actual progression. Yeah, two enemies. Here they come. We better be careful. Ha! Yeah! Be careful. We got enemies. Yeah! That was easier than I thought. Uh, no, the, the other members of your party are computer controlled, but you can swap to them so you can control them in case you want them to do something different. Nice. Blackberries. We can win this. You ready for this? Hope. Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. fight some stronger enemies. <laughs> this is this is a pretty this is a pretty game. I need to beat stronger enemies or I need to rope these enemies together to get that that five enemy chain that I got last time. Oh no, that's three. We almost had it at five. Four will do. <laughs> we better be careful. Here they come. Ha! Da, da. Be careful. You ready for this? Ha! Ha! We got enemies. Be careful. Crash. Da. We better be careful. We can win this. Da. Ha! That was easier it's than over. I thought. Yeah, Raina gained a level. 
She's got some ca catching up to do. Oh, now I could definitely rope these guys together. We definitely need to level up her spells, so that way she can one-shot these things. Or more, or one-shot them more consistent, consistently, so they're not just getting broken. Tried to get, tried to get four, but that first one kind of left. We're going to that castle all the way over there. An eye out for treasure chests, though. Cross. Hmm. The trip took a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, that's because we spent too much time grinding on enemies. There's nobody around. The castle looks like it's locked up too. Let's stay at the inn for the night. We can visit the castle tomorrow. Yes, that would indeed make sense. Quite a stranger lately. Sorry I haven't been around, Aunt Rachel. How are things going? Oh, as well as always, I'd say. Oh, found a new man, did you? Worrying Westa to no end, no doubt. <laughs> He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> well, you didn't have to shout it like that. <laughs> huh? Oh, no nothing. Well, you're in luck. I've got a lovely vacant room just for the two of you. How about I let you stay there for the night? On the house. Oh, that's nice for her. Are you sure that's okay? 
Oh, nothing but the best for my niece on her special night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> I told you already, it's not like that at all. I swear. Not at all, huh? Poor Claude. It's getting turned down indirectly. Come to think of it, Mr. Flack paid a visit to town a couple of weeks earlier. Dias was here? But he left soon afterwards. Not that he had any particular destination in mind. <laughs> the on is rooting for him, oh totally. I see. Well, make yourselves comfy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aunt Rachel. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Take care of Raina for me, all right? Uh, yes, of course. Okay, there we go. They got two beds. It's not going to be a By crazy, way, awkward situation. Wonder, who's Mr. Flack? You mean Diaz? She mentioned the name earlier, so I was just curious. His full name's Diaz Flack. He used to live in Arlia like me. Something terrible happened to him, though, a long time ago, and because of that, he left the village. Well, I'll try to avoid the subject then. Thanks. <laughs> Do you mind if I make one request, though? What is it? You really don't have to call me Mr. Kinney. It just makes me feel weird when I call you Reyna. Okay, I'll remember that from now on. Well, let's get ready for bed then. It's getting late. <laughs> Looks like it. Good night, Claude. Good night, Reyna. And then nothing eventful happened during that night. Well... How did things go? <laughs> hey, you, you, you didn't hear any funny noises come from that room. We had a great night's sleep, Aunt Rachel. Thanks for asking. <laughs> oh, you know that's not what I meant. <laughs> <sighs> no, we don't need to sleep again. We do need to poke in every single room just in case. Just in case there's treasure chests hiding in these rooms. Oh, we can't go upstairs. This in sucks. There, now everything's all active and we can talk to people. King was looking for some adventurers. That's good. King's permission to cross into L. Save. There's a dog. He's not very happy, though. <laughs> Symbol symbiologist with the great bod. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Auction going on today. I guess everyone's trying to get that map. go anywhere near them. Well, that's no fun. Oops, you found me. <laughs> For what purpose? I like how you can see the sprites all the way on the other side. Cathedral. There is nobody in here. Okay. Hmm. 
like how this girl says she's going to be late for her date, but she continues to pace around in this particular spot. Nothing but first class weapons and armor here. Definitely got no new weapons. We do need a padded helmet. We do need a padded armor. And shield. Iron greaves. Those. to investigate the sorcery globe. Okay. Good to know the king's actually looking looking for people. Just some materials. They look around, they will see people. <laughs> Tells me I'm maxed out on blueberries. Private action, see if there's actually anything. No, there is no prompt. Okay. All right, let's actually mosey on to that castle. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Oh, he had a portrait. He must be important. He had three eyes. And he had three eyes. actually trigger something now? Nope. <laughs> I want to double check something now.
Os Castle. I wish my home was this big. This is the front desk for the audience chamber. This is the place. I'll write our names in for you. Ah, I see you're here on behalf of Mayor Regis of Alia. Yes, sir. I'd like to have an audience as soon as possible, if I may. Very well. If you could kindly wait until I make the arrangements. Thank you very much. You're welcome to look around the castle until the time comes. That would be great. Thank you. We're in, Claude. Hooray, we're in. And we get to look around the castle. And proceed to loot the whole place. I don't think we even needed those, did we? No, I already have a wooden shield and whatever I picked up there. A leather helmet. Oh well, free money. Portrait of Prince Clouser. Clouser T. Cross, who is known for sneaking out of the castle to cause trouble. Viral visage bears an uncanny resemblance to someone. He almost looks like the guy that we just bumped into. Oh nice, Reyna gained a level from that in a new spell. Got enough to level up a spell. That heals heals a good choice. Cloud needs a Claude needs a lot of BP to get that meteor palm up. Save the save the BP on Reyna. Oh, okay. <laughs> Our turn's already up. Thank you, Your Majesty. Just remember to be careful. Pardon me. It is an honor, Your Majesty. Ah, oh, it's you, Rhea. It has been a long time, hasn't it? I can hardly recognize you. You've grown to be even more beautiful than what I've heard from Regis. I'm glad to see you in good spirit, sire. Oh, there's no need for formalities, Reyna. What can I do for you today? Yes, sire. 
We have begun to conduct an investigation into the Sorcery Globe. As part of that, we were wondering if Your Majesty could give us whatever information on the globe and its properties that you currently possess. Heavens, you're the one conducting this investigation? Yes, sire, and we are treating the job with as much resolve and determination as it deserves. Well, if that be the case, then it wouldn't do to hold anything back from you. Ask about what? I don't need to remind you of all the earthquakes and volcanic eruptions that have occurred worldwide lately. However, the exact cause of this activity remains a total mystery even to us. Have you given any thought to the idea that the Sorcery Globe is behind all this? Well, without some kind of evidence to back up that theory, it is difficult to be 100% sure about anything. True. I am afraid we know very little about the machinations of the Sorcery Globe ourselves. Or rather, it would be more accurate to say we know nothing at all. Haven't you sent a team to investigate it? I have, but unfortunately, any hope for their return seems to have perished at this point. Oh. I hear that people and monsters are fighting a pitched struggle in El Kingdom territory at present. Unfortunately, few details have been given on the scope of the battle or the number of casualties incurred as a result. Are there any ships right now that can take us to El? There are, but they have been strictly regulated. Wild rumors have a way of spreading quickly during wartime, needless to say. To sum up the current situation, despite all our best efforts, we have failed to obtain even a trace of information about the Sorcery Globe. I see. That's why we decided to enlist the help of any willing adventurers in the area. That explains all of the adventurers we saw in town. I hardly need to remind you, Reyna, that your investigation into the Sorcery Globe is an extremely dangerous endeavor. If it were up to me, I would sincerely suggest that you call off this investigation immediately. Don't worry, I'll be all right. I have Mr. Kenny on my side here. Oh, so you have that much faith in his strength. In any case, it looks like you could do with some better equipment. Hmm. Here, His Majesty has granted you a travel permit, along with a small parting gift. 600 full. And a key item. But Your Majesty... Please, take it. It's a perfectly fitting payment for helping us root out the cause of this cataclysm. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. If you're traveling to the El Kingdom, the interim transport ship departing from Kurik would be best. We appreciate your generous support, Your Majesty. I just saw someone walk by in the lower I right corner. Opened my mouth. <laughs> it's not just you. Even I felt like I had butterflies in my stomach. I want to explore more, though. I can go for this door. So much like our prince, I thought you were him for a second. Oh. <laughs> Wink. There's another 300 full. Just takes us back to the king. <laughs> Still haven't found Prince Closer. Nobody outside the castle staff yards about this. Not well, too late. <laughs>
Gee, shame the princess doesn't have a treasure chest in her room. Cool, nothing else up there. Kind of funny how the king gave us seven th 700 full when we have like 2,000 of it prior. <laughs> As we're done in the castle. Is the meaning of this I believe I procured this fair and square what the hell are you talking about lady you practically stole it from me stole <laughs> exactly when did I partake in something anywhere even close to stealing enough of your crap hand it over or you're dead wait a minute I can't just let this go on Claude hmm who the hell's this little brat? Hey, you! That's no way to speak to a lady, you know. What was that? Let's be a little more civilized here, all right? Are you talking to me, kid? If I recall correctly, you were gonna fight me, not this little boy. What? I'll kill you, you little... If you want to pick a fight, you'd best choose your opponents more carefully. Not that I'm particularly enthralled with getting in a fight over something I didn't do. You're gonna pay for this! <laughs> okay. Hopefully that taught him something. I must thank you, my boy. You were quite the courageous one. Boy? Your bravery has struck a chord inside of me. Truly brilliant. <laughs> uh, it was nothing. You're blushing, Claude. <laughs> By the way, are you the couple who had an audience with the king earlier? How'd you know that? I just happened to be on a tour of the castle at the time. And I overheard some guards gossiping about two people who got special permission to jump ahead in the king's schedule. And you realized that was us? I wondered what made that pair so special. So I sneaked into the throne room to find out for myself. That's impressive. I have some information that I believe you will appreciate. Oh. Without going into too many details, I just happened to get my hands on this map from an auction that I attended not long ago. Supposedly, this map shows the way to an ancient treasure hidden inside a certain cave. Ooh. Would you be interested in joining me as I explore the cave? We really don't have time to go treasure hunting right now. Oh? Are you sure? You might uncover a hint or two related to your own goal. Well... Would you like to come along? Yeah, let's go for it. An ancient treasure. Maybe it'll provide me with some leads. Sounds like fun. I'll take the offer. Ah, I knew you'd come around. My name is Celine Jules. I'm a treasure hunting enthusiast. Now then, let me show you the map one more time. See this? First, we'll set off for the Cross Cave, which lies east of Cross. Cross Cave? You mean that natural cave? Everyone knows that place. Indeed, it's the very one. I would have thought 
that anything worth excavating in there was long gone by now. Well, supposedly this map just recently came to light for the first time. Wow. Right. Let's make sure we have all the equipment we need before we depart. I could get used to having you two around. I'm not feeling very good about this. Hmm? Did you say something? Me? No. Let's go. <laughs> a treasure map and a third party member. Now we've kind of unlocked item creation. Which we need SP in order to do that. Oh, you're a guest character. Okay. So we can't change we can't change her her gear. She's an expellion. Well, that's an interesting race. I like her cape. How, how it's around her, but it's not actually attached to her. <laughs> That's probably why this all unlocked because because uh the Celine yeah her yeah, that's her name Celine she she has levels in, the, in these things. Oh, Reina has level two cooking, which is kind of neat. until we get a little more BP for her. Yeah, this is, this is similar to the... This is just like the similar system in Star Ocean 1, where we can put SP into all these things, and then depending on the combination of them, unlock uh, specialties. So, for example, if, if we put in points into biology, that helps out the compounding and fishing specialties. Of course, putting points into any of these gives us uh, stat boosts. full in BP.
I think this is this was a new thing added to this particular remake, fishing. Give her any uh, equipment. And his spells are leveled up. As, are, as is Selene's. Claw oh, still needs a lot more to crank up that meteor palm, but better to spend those here. That sounds good. Man, I can't f I even think to begin as to where we can put these at this SP. I could put it all in the determin determination because that lowers the SP needed for each skill. Yeah, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> We don't need intelligence on Claude. Here, Claude now knows how to write. And now this. Scouting specialties enabled. There he now knows how to appraise, compound, survival. way we get that train. Now he knows how to pickpocket. Yeah, let's go ahead and dump some of that there. That, that way he knows replication. And we probably want to put points into things that will up the... That will give us more specialties. Or that will level it up.
like how just leveling the penmanship just straight straight up increases his writing. I had to do that all over for Reyna. She could benefit from the mineralogy, though. ESP and Heidi. Okay, she, she ain't a hundred full from that. Should have put some points into effort. That probably would have helped. stuff. Paintings or car of or cards to use in battle to gain an edge over foes. Also make portraits to view illustrations of the characters of the game. <laughs> Interesting. Need we got a 100% chance of making the portrait, but everything else is uh, pretty pretty low success rate until we further increase the level. Find weapons in order to create new weapons. Certain combinations can produce extremely powerful weapons. 
combinations will change the suitable level of the ore. Right now we can't do anything. <laughs> Spectacles allow us to ID items. Some identified items found in dungeons and light can turn out to be things like rare equipment. We got seven spectacles, but we got nothing to ID yet. Oh, I said Claude has a 90% chance to process the ruby, but Celine only has a 30% chance. Great guidebooks that improve other IC and specialty skills. More guidebooks. Maybe the skill in question reaches a certain level. Use writing when you want to conserve SP or lack the SP needed to level up an IC or specialty skill. Oh, okay. Just need a fountain pen. Find two kinds of herbs to create medicine. Certain highly valuable healing items only attainable through compounding. Cooking just allows you to make food. You already looked at alchemy about processing stuff. I don't have the required item for replication. You need a magic camera or a, or a Ririka? A machinist. Create various machines. Machinist enables you to create, create many things like support items that increase the success rate of IC, weapons for certain characters, or items that allow special arts to be run. I get a 90% chance to, do, uh, to make a soldering iron. Grants a 30% chance of not losing materials when using crafting. We just need a mechanics toolbox to do so. Train. Gain more EXP in exchange for lowered attack, intelligence, and defense. The higher the skill level, the greater their experience, gain, and stat decrease. Conjunction with enemy link, music, cooking, and scouting to earn EXP efficiently. Yeah, I remember doing this on, uh... On, uh... Star Ocean. Train was very, fairly handy. Scouting allows the encounter rate to be adjusted. The higher the skill level, the more enemies will appear when looking for enemies, making it easier to do consecutive battles while avoid enemies also be Go ahead and do look for enemies. That way we can actually do more of those. Pickpocketing requires a thief's glove or a magician's glove, so... That. Survival. Find items when on the move. You should activate the skill as soon as you learn it. Turn her on, then. <laughs> That's literally just free items as we're moving around. Super specialty. I think we need more people for that. Oh, now we completed that. That. These things are actually useful since we know the uh, know the skill. As is all these food items and these herbs. Needs more spectacles. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I 
definitely pick up a couple more spec spectacles. Yeah, <laughs> the game keeps getting more complicated. Yeah, that, it, this is how it was like in Star Ocean as well. Ah, there's the map. Now we actually have PA events to do. And now we got PA events to do with the, the new girl. Oh, Claude, are you done looking around the village? Yeah, more or less. I've been here before, so... A rather pleasant little place, isn't it? Perfect for getting away from the crowds of the city. Definitely, yeah. Oh, by the way, there's something I want you to have, Claude. What is it? Just a good luck charm. Something that you need far more than I do. Oh, are you sure I can have this? It looks pretty expensive. Please take it. I found it on a treasure hunting expedition a little while ago. I can sense that it holds some kind of symbological force. It was worn by someone who looked like a swordsman. I thought it would be more fitting for you to have it. Um, what kind of person was this? The man who used to wear it? I couldn't tell you, really. He was already a skeleton when I discovered him. Oh. <laughs> Celine, I'm glad you thought about me. <laughs> You'll make me blush if you put it that way. Oh? I wonder if this is what having a kid brother is like. A kid brother? <laughs> oh, we got jewelry we can now identify. Remember that I'm doing a face reveal? Nah, I'm not in the mood for no face reveal. I have an idea. How about paying me back with a present of your own, Claude? Huh? It doesn't have to be expensive. It's the thought that counts. Okay, you got it. I think that's the only PA we had to do here. The PA in here that we can do. I see we have a timed one in Crow City. How many channel points to get that? Uh, it's an undefined amount that I'm never going to tell. Anyone. You two discussing. Right, Rina? <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually lost a little chunk of friendship level from Reina. Yes, I guess I should have done something different for that one. Oh well.
Let's head back to Salva and do this PA. And the shopkeeper. For some reason, is inside the mines. Well, not too far in the mine, anyway. <laughs> okay. Not when I got all these freckles. Oh, I don't know. I give up so easily. As long as you keep pursuing your dreams, you're guaranteed to make them come true someday. Oh, there is. That's why we've looked for you. How did that change? Ah, oh, there we go. Guess that was the private action here, so we need to push that up. We still have another private action. Oh, here we go. There's more private actions opened up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Reyna? Oh, Claude. I was just checking out some of the accessories they have here. Anything nice? Yeah, a few things. Like that emerald pendant. Don't you think it's pretty? Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> I didn't know you were into jewelry, Claude. Oh, well, s sort of. Hmm. I'm impressed. Is it really that weird for guys to like stuff like this? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna stick around here for a while. Probably could have bought it for her. Oh, yeah, that, oh, we're actually losing friendship level now. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought it for her. Oops. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about that. This is a first playthrough anyway. I'm not going to be that picky. Uh, this one. 
There, now, now we just have a PA in Crow, Crow City. Way to stay out of the friend zone, yep. That's how it's done, unfortunately. What's up, Reyna? You look like you were staring into space or something. Promise me you won't laugh, okay? I was thinking about how nice it'd be if I could meet someone really wonderful and have our wedding ceremony in a place like this. Well, that, that's fair. Well, something to laugh at. Go the last one. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting married in a place like this either. You think so too, Claude? Something like that, yeah. I need to find someone to get married to first, though. That's true. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find the right man for you, Reyna. Thank you. I'm sure you'll find a beautiful bride for yourself as well, Claude. <laughs> Watch that actually lowered it. No, it, it bumped it back up. We're, we're to a full heart now. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that bottle. Let's actually see if we can continue with the story. Cross Guild. This was all that the game would be beeping like <laughs> all those single hearts. <laughs> sure, give us some advice. to make a silver earring. Although Claude could probably try to make it too. Yeah, Claude can make it. We can handle this. There, made a silver earring. Cooking, we need eggs and dairy to make a fried egg. Raina can take care of that. She's level four. Here goes. Except that's an egg sandwich. <laughs> oh, good good thing we have more eggs and dairy. There we go. We made three fried eggs and two more sandwiches. <laughs> so these are healing. Ooh, we made, we made a chocolate crepe. Fruit milk. There's some useful stuff in there. What was the other mission? Alchemy. Make some... Need to make silver. 
But only Selene can do that. Here, silver made. Last one is for fishing, which we have to go to a particular spot for. Just need a cross carp. I think we have to go outside to do that. Or we can fish in the bird bath. What the hell was a fish doing in the bird bath? <laughs> what the hell was fish doing in the bird bath? I wanted to take a picture of it. There we go. <laughs> well, at least we completed all that then. Turn those in. Got some new armor for you. New armor for you as well. We can't equip anything on her. That's all we can do in there. Okay. Well, that's taken care of. Oh, and we actually get to keep the silver earring, too. Let's actually continue the stupid game now. Literally fished in a bird bath. Save. We did do quite a bit of stuff just now. And now I just got an achievement for walking 8,000 steps.
jeez. What a, what a difference that looking for enemy skill is. Oh, now we get some new stuff. New enemies that actually are doing stuff to us. That was easier than I thought. Yeah, well, look at that. <laughs> now we're getting way too many we enemies popping up. Here and actually turn that <laughs> scouting thing down. That's just spawning way too many, way too many enemies. Here they come! You ready for this? Anyone hurt? You all right? There's a counter system in this. I just wanted to figure out how to actually trigger it. Well, I 
would say that's worth 10 out of 10. down instead of the way up, way ahead. There's the perfect counter. Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. to get another perfect counter, but they kept spamming spells on it. Oh, we're maxed out on blueberries. <laughs> on the blueberries that give MP. spell. That's more MP. But it's a stronger, stronger heal. Now it's an even stronger heal. <laughs>
Now I got even more SP to <laughs> plenty put into everything. I just learned a super specialty. I know. I'm, I'm sorry I'm taking too long trying to figure out what to put all this SP in. <laughs> For all I know, I'm probably doing it all wrong anyway. Just trying to trying to go by how I how I can remember it from the first star ocean. Yeah, there we go.
Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Nest. Leather boots. Raina can equip those. here along the path. I know that's the No, I'd say that is actually the way. <laughs> skill. Ah, that, that sounds fun. Break focused. Treasure chest had five five units of eggs and dairy. I'll well put those to use. Here goes. Nice. Made some vanilla ice cream. We did get something that needed appraisal, didn't we? We can handle this. Nope. That was a failure, apparently. Oh, it's a 65% chance to actually ID it. There, we ID'd it. The talisman. Oh, we already have like two of those. Here they come! The enemy, is it? Ha! Ha! How about this? Ha! 
Fancy chest. Oh, but then it spawned enemies behind us. <laughs> did was spawn even more enemies. <laughs> Bullshit. I just lost all of those fucking orbs that we stocked up. Oh, apparently I switched character. <laughs> XP though. the moment you get a back attack you lose you lose all that those 300 orbs that you picked up throughout all your fights <laughs> you ready for this? We can win this. now i only have 43 
remember it. All that's there is this weird, weird rock formation. Map says there's supposed to be a treasure room up ahead. It's a fake? Couldn't be. Use healing spells, right? How do those work? I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. I just woke up one day and I could cast them. There aren't any healing symbols in the field of symbology, you know. I didn't know. <laughs> this map was expensive, too. Should we search for another path? Suppose we'll have to. Might have had a look at that map. Is there something written here? It's kind of small, but I think it's talking about spells or something. Right, it's pretty faded, but it's definitely there. Do what it says then. Might as well give it a shot. Look at that. We did it. <laughs> Seeing we got this kind of a save point, it tells me there's a boss. There really was a hidden room. Jade Green Columns. Treasure chest empty. Ah. Ambush. Oh shit, I got broke. And I died too. Oh, that's, uh... Uh... Wow. Celine died in the process, but <laughs> no shit. Hey, good, you revived. Better wooden shield. Ooh. Ancient text. This looks important. Bingo. Here it is. This is it? What is that thing? Some kind of ancient text. Not that I can read it or anything, though. Mm. How sad. This is beyond my deciphering ability. I guess we have no choice but to take this back to my home and consult with the Elder. Well, that or find a linguist. Otherwise, we've hit a dead end. Very true. An AA device. Leticia Jewel. The mysterious power in the jewel recalls the memory of Star Ocean. Laetitia, the protagonist of Star Ocean 6, has joined the assault. What the hell is this? Summon characters not in the battle power party to aid in combat.
The assault gauge fills over time. Defeating enemies. Huh. Okay, so it's some, some kind of assist, I guess. There are also jewels that enable heroes from past entries in the Star Ocean series to be placed in the assault formation. Neat. So we unlocked whoever whoever's the main pro tag in Star Ocean 6. Not that I ever played it. Tactics. Oh, here we go. Assault formation. Looks like all she does is some type of attack that's HP focused. So that's what that device was. That, that unlocked the assault actions. Okay, well, we seem to have completed this thing. Got some kind of ancient text, which I assume is important. Explored this, yeah. <laughs> nice. Just got a ruby from walking around. You two have been a lot of help to me, so let me thank you both. Oh, you don't have to. Our little expedition didn't turn up anything on the Sorcery Globe, though. This is new. So it was the Sorcery Globe that you two have been fussing about. That's right. And that's why we wanted to travel to the L Kingdom. Say, would you like to join us, Celine? Claude? Claude? Well, I just thought that your symbology could be a real asset to us on the trail. Hmm. I could certainly give it some thought. Really? Certainly. As in whether or not the pretty lady over there is okay with it, of course. <laughs> yeah. Use more party members. Oh, I'm sure Reyna wouldn't have any problem. We'd be happy to have you along. Right, Reyna? Yeah. Well, in that case, I think I will take you up on the offer. Excellent. Back to our original plan, then. Our next destination is Kurok. Selene has joined the party. Now we can actually change her equipment. She's, she's, she's no longer a guest. It also altered the friendship. We're getting, getting a couple more hearts with her through Claude. So much with Reyna, though. And yeah, now we can unequip these things off of her. Oh, we might as well just keep those. <laughs> Pin heels. So that's what they're called.
All right. Ah, we'll walk there. Beat up some more enemies along the way. You ready for this? Seems like a fight is in order. Oh, that's convenient. We were just way too weak. Back to cross for a second.
Alright, we do have our stuff. I forgot I bought a canvas. <laughs> It's just a lump of clay. Oh, there we go. Celine, <laughs> Celine has the better. has the better art. Goiza dumplings. You don't need the Oracle specialty to complete the game. Oh. <laughs> Learn trivia about the game along with minor hands. Okay, so there's no reason to actually have this Oracle ability. More SP and BP from battles in place of full. that up. Right, we don't really have much of a problem with money, so there's that.
Nice. What do you make? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Magical box contents to jump out when open. Oh, okay. Assembly increases the level. I'll give Reyna that knife book. to the inn. Save and then we'll progress. Here they come! We got enemies! Ha! Blade! Well, I'd 
say that's worth 10 out of 10. That old cross. Oh, yeah, that's neat. enemies. Something tells me I shouldn't be here. <laughs> the, blue, the blue enemies, enemies in the Crow's cave were enough. Nice, five more eggs and dairy. Here goes. Oh, she made a lot of vanilla vanilla ice cream that time. Vegetables. I think we can cook with that too. Yeah. Here goes. Need some carrot juice. <laughs> Say that. 
that's worth 10 out of 10. Weak enemies. Those are green. <laughs> I kind of am, but that's intentional. <laughs> There's no way around it. can win this. Yeah. They were just well, way too weak. Worth 10 out of 10. Just trying to keep an eye out for any treasure chests that might be scattered about, the, about this portion of the map. Also, at the same time, trying to run, round up enemies so I can take advantage of that linking bonus. A chain bonus. Yeah, right, Dick. Especially now that we enable the ability, the uh, the special ability that lowers our full in exchange for in exchange for gaining more SP and BP. I really haven't had much of a problem with uh, maintaining uh, maintaining full. I say that was eight out of ten. Oh, how much do I even have at this at this point? Yeah, twenty-seven thousand. Yeah, we're 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 Gucci on money. It's 
BP and SP that, that that's the hotter commodity. <laughs> Weak enemies. These little green guys. <laughs> we can do this. Don't underestimate them. Ha! Ha! We can win this. We got it. Yeah, ha! 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 Yeah, ha! Ha! Here they come. You ready for this? Ha! 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 Except, except the grinding in this game seems to be a little more fun. It's like rounding up these enemies and, and... And the actual combat is kind of enjoyable. Just trying to round these guys up so we can get a big group going on here. There's not a large range with these guys seem to be contained with their own in, in like their own circle uh in star ocean no this yeah no actually yeah the grind was probably a little harder in, in the first star ocean Most because it was random battles. Here you can choose your fights. Oh, now Reyna learned. Reyna learned how to shoot laser beams. Of course, these are. These spells are only are only applicable when we're actually uh, trolling Reyna. can finally level up Meteor Palm. What will we'll do with his BP?
Oh, now that's neat. I just, I just pressed the X button and it changes. Uh, and it cha here it breaks it up by skills, but here it breaks it up by specialty. So if you want a certain specialty, if you just want to focus on a specialty, then you can just do it like this. That actually helps out. So now if we just want to improve cooking straight up, we just <laughs> we just need to do that. So, so high at this point, but some of the enemies are appearing green. Here they come. The enemy is it? Ha, ha. Yeah, ha. Well, I'd say that's worth ten out of ten. Do some fishing. Oh, two fishies. Massive. <laughs> doing it right because it's supposed to watch the character react on not the bobber. enemy <laughs> we fished out an enemy
We fished up another enemy. Yeah. <laughs> when the screen darkens like that, it means we fished up an en enemy well before. Well before the enemy even ambushes us. Treasure. Some iron. an enemy. <laughs> Cross carps, if we want to get everything, get all the other fishies. That's how it's working. Oh, treasure. Seafood. <laughs> Wouldn't that imply that I just caught a whole bunch of fish? Blueberries. Just fished up some blueberries. I want that big fish that's right in front of me, though. More treasure. Ooh, an item we can ID. Yeah, sure. Fish up the enemy. That's probably what that big fish is anyway. Out of SP to do the fancy attack or MP, I mean. Oh, and then the fish respawn. Okay. Hey, Claude finally has the BP to upgrade Meteor Palm. <laughs> So I'm actually going over my time now. <laughs> Too much fishing. Maybe off stream I'll do a lot more thorough exploration and some other tweaks.
that's fruit. Unlit Cascades. Waterfall beside Lake Cole that shines divinely in the sunlight, entrancing all who see it. Say some travelers even spend the whole day lost in its beauty. And a faction card from that. Oh, we're actually missing... We're actually missing a couple of, uh unique spots. Oh, I guess it's a random item. Interesting. Dragon box. Enemies jumped out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and it's a back attack, too. And they're really tough enemies. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I don't want to lose. Uh, well, this was a bad idea. Hmm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to try to run away, but... The enemies just keep tailing me. Is this Raina? Oh. No. My first game over because I accidentally bloody. Oh, okay, that kind of helps. Let's go back to retry. Of course, they're just going to kill us all over again, but maybe I might have an opportunity to actually run away. That time I got controlled. No, I want you to let me run away from the battle. That's what I want you guys to do. There we go. That was a bad mistake right there. Ekaton's punch. Is that something that... Something useful? No, that's something that can't even be equipped by anyone. Okay, bad idea. Oh, good thing the first building is the end.
did get an item that needs to be ID. We can Oh, okay. <laughs> it was just another pair of spectacles. Alright, let's move on. Yeah. Wrap this up at this point. We'll explore Kurik some other time. We're gonna end the stream at this point. Uh let me run back to the title. Turn this off. Alright, so yeah, that'll be the end of the stream for tonight. Um, next stream, I believe, is going to be on Thursday because I'm a little bit swamped, swamped with work this week. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday, we'll continue on in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and then follow it up with some more Cult of the Lamb. Uh, so if I'm if I'm feeling all right after after work on Wednesday, I might uh, I might do a little stream. But if if I do decide to do a, a a small stream on Wednesday, then I'll probably just play some more Star Ocean, the second story. And then a, and then after Thursday, I actually have this coming Saturday off because of uh, Remembrance Day. And uh, I think yeah, and I think what I have written down here is Mario Brothers Wonder, and then maybe we'll continue some. Do some more Star Ocean as well. Uh, what is Remembrance Day? Um, every November eleventh, it, it, it's it's similar to Memorial Day in in uh, U.S. I think it's to remember the uh, the soldiers and those who were in the line of duty during World War One and World War Two. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have the freedom that, that currently exists in some way, shape, or form here. I think, I think many other parts of the world uh, remember, have that kind of a holiday as well. But it's mostly just to take the time to, to uh, remember those, those people who have who fought in those world wars. That's pretty much a summary of, su summary of it. <laughs> Anyway, um, do stick around, though, because I do want to send you guys all on a raid. And, of course, we're probably just going to go raid uh, Rare Gangster. She's the only, only person on my end. Well, the military won't have freedom. Yeah, indeed. Give me a sec here. Rare's still doing her, Elden, her Sunday night Elden Ring. Rune level one, no... No summons, ashes, or whatever uh, items. I think she's working on a boss named Malaketh. I'm not familiar with the Elden Ring, so... All I know is it's similar to Dark Souls, and I don't really care much for Dark Souls. So feel free to join in on that raid. I'm sure she'd appreciate it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So again, uh, next stream will be on Thursday, where I will play some more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and uh, some Cult of the Lamb. But again, if I'm feeling up to it on uh, on Wednesday night, when I get home from work, I might uh, I might do a small stream, which will be some more Star Ocean. So, with all that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good night. Hope to see you all on Thursday, and please enjoy Rare Gangster. <laughs>